who are you? Uh, I I'm, I'm Bob. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're breaking down one of the biggest questions buzzing around the newly released teaser trailer for Thunderbolts. Who is Bob and why is his introduction so significant? If you caught that chilling moment when Lewis Pullman's Bob stammers, I'm Bob, while Black Widow, US Agent, Ghost, and Taskmaster all point their weapons at him, you're probably wondering what's going on. Well, if the hints and clues weren't enough, Bob is none other than Robert Reynolds, better known as the Sentry. Let's dive into who this character is, his complicated history in the comics, and why his role in Thunderbolts could change everything. The teaser for Thunderbolts has sparked a lot of excitement, but one character stands out in particular, Bob. In the teaser, we see Bob in a disheveled state, wearing a patient gown deep within some kind of underground vault. It's clear that the Thunderbolts team led by Florence Pugh's Black Widow is wary of him, but there's much more to Bob than meets the eye. If you paid attention, you might have caught glimpses of an S-shaped belt buckle and symbol, subtly revealing Bob's true identity as the Sentry, a character with a fascinating and complex backstory. Uh, I'm, I'm Bob. Who sent you, Bob? Nobody. Were you all, you were all sent? Bob Reynolds, AKA The Sentry, first appeared in Sentry No. 1 in 2000, created by writer Paul Jenkins and artist Jay Lee. The Sentry was introduced as the greatest hero in the Marvel Universe that nobody remembered. His origin story? A Jack Kirby-inspired Silver Age comic book within a comic showed that Bob was once a high school freshman who gained his powers after drinking a mysterious serum, granting him the power of a million exploding suns. With this incredible power, Bob became the Sentry sworn to protect the world. However, things weren't that simple. While Bob gained immense power, his psyche became fractured, and alongside the Sentry emerged his darker, more sinister alter ego, the Void. The Void was everything the Sentry was not, malevolent, destructive, and dangerous. The story of the Sentry became one of inner conflict, where Bob's mind was at constant war with itself, with the Sentry and the Void representing two extreme sides of his personality. As revealed in the comics, Bob Reynolds and The Void are two sides of the same coin. After consuming the Sentry Serum, Bob developed a split personality, with The Void acting as his dark alter ego. The Void was responsible for some of the most catastrophic events in Marvel Comics, including the death of a million people in a single attack. The Void is essentially the villainous reflection of the Sentry's golden heroism, making Bob not only the greatest hero, but also one of the greatest threats to the Marvel Universe. In the comics, when Bob realized that he was both the Sentry and the Void, he worked with characters like Reed Richards and Doctor Strange to erase all memory of his existence from the world using a mesmeric induction device. This decision was made in order to protect the world from the devastating return of the Void. For years, the Sentry and the Void were forgotten, but Bob eventually resurfaced, and so did his dark side. So, why is Bob showing up in Thunderbolts? While the details are still under wraps, it's likely that Bob is being introduced as a key figure who could drastically affect the Thunderbolts mission. The Sentry's backstory is tied to his mental instability and immense power, which makes him both an asset and a potential liability. Much like how Fight Club's protagonist struggles with his dark alter ego, Bob's internal battle between the Sentry and the Void mirrors that psychological complexity. The Thunderbolts, a team known for their morally ambiguous roles in shady operations, may see Bob as either a weapon to control or a ticking time bomb. Given that the Sentry has fought alongside and against many of Marvel's greatest heroes, it's not hard to imagine the Thunderbolts trying to harness his power for their own ends. However, with the Void lurking inside Bob, the team may be playing with fire. What's the plan? This could get messy. The Sentry's origin has been retold multiple times in the comics, with layers of complexity added each time. Initially, Bob Reynolds was portrayed as a high school student who stumbled upon a serum created by an enigmatic professor. The serum gave him unimaginable power, but it also fractured his mind. Later, it was revealed that the serum was actually part of Project Sentry, an experiment to recreate the super soldier serum that transformed Steve Rogers into Captain America. But unlike Cap, Bob had severe mental health issues before gaining his powers. Diagnosed with schizophrenia, anxiety, and agoraphobia, Bob stole the serum not knowing the profound impact it would have on him. The power he gained only amplified his inner struggles, manifesting as the Sentry and the Void. In one of the most telling moments in the comics, the Void tells Bob that the serum could have turned anyone into a hero or a villain. The real tragedy is that Bob was not inherently special, but the serum created both his greatest strength and his ultimate downfall. As the Void says, we're nothing special. That serum would have worked on anybody. 
Bob's dual identity as the Sentry in the Void made him an unpredictable force in the Marvel Universe. He was even recruited by Norman Osborn, the former Green Goblin, to join his Dark Avengers. This team, made up of villains posing as heroes, used the Sentry as their ultimate weapon. During Osborn's siege on Asgard, the Void was unleashed once more, wreaking havoc on the world. In the end, the Sentry's story took a tragic turn. After the Void's defeat, Bob begged the Avengers to kill him, knowing that he could never control the Dark Force within him. Thor, one of Marvel's mightiest heroes, summoned a bolt of lightning that finally ended Bob's life, and the God of Thunder laid Bob's remains to rest in the heart of the sun. The introduction of Bob and Thunderbolt sets up the potential for massive implications in the MCU. The Sentry is one of Marvel's most powerful characters, and his mental instability makes him incredibly dangerous. If the Thunderbolts are attempting to control or manipulate Bob's power, they could be opening Pandora's box by risking the return of the Void. It's possible that Bob's role in Thunderbolts could also set the stage for future MCU projects. With his connection to characters like the Avengers, the X-Men, and the Fantastic Four in the comics, the Sentry could become a major player in the MCU's evolving storyline. But given his tragic history, it's likely that his journey will be filled with both heroic and villainous moments, leaving fans wondering which side of Bob Reynolds will ultimately prevail. Look at you. So adorable. What do you think of the Sentry's introduction in Thunderbolts? Are you excited to see how his story plays out? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more deep dives into the MCU and all your favorite characters. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Eventually, you come to realize that there are bad guys, and there are worse guys.